Marcus Rule versus Roly the Beast Winkler. What a matchup of a couple of mountains of muscle. This is your fan requested Friday winning video. There's a lot of other good ones there, guys. Get this video up to, we'll say, 400 likes this week because we're a day late. Get it up to 400 likes. We'll do all of them other ones. Kai Green, Lee Haney, are you kidding me? Anyway, Marcus Rule, he is a, a giant of a man. This is him in 2004. I'd like to use all 2004 pitchers, but you just can't do that. There's not enough footage. So 2006 is actually, in my estimation, a better version of Rule. Even though he gets 8th, eighth, eighth, and in 2004 he got 5th, which was his highest Olympia placing. 2002, many people will say you should have used that version. Footage, it's, it's useless, guys, from 2002 Night of Champions. So, you know, take it for what it is. This is the best Olympia versions of each, quote-unquote. It's not the best placing for uh, Rule. It's the third place, obviously, for Rolly the Beast Winkler. The wheelbase, calves, and probably even the quads. Marcus Rule is a, a standout, and he will remain a standout for most of these shots. Arms usually go to the Beast. But I'm going to tell you right now, uh, Marcus Orul, he is a, a giant of a man. His arms are huge. Now, the midsection, I would give to the Beast. Here's the finals, I believe, for each. Marcus Rule, it might not be, but I think it is. His midsection looks a whole lot tighter. You can actually see some abs. But Beast... Roly the Beast Winkler, he poured it on as far as the aesthetics is concerned. The conditioning, he was lean and mean for the finals. Look at that midsection, guys. And you know I'm a fan of aesthetics. As well as mountains of muscle in many ways. Both guys are winning this. And in their own way, they're actually dominating. They're both dominating in each way. Muscle for Marcus and aesthetics for uh, Roly the Beast Winkler. Go to the front lat spread. Hmm, hmm, not a good shot, not a good pose at all for either of these two dudes. Could call this one beauty and versus beast, but they're both beasts. And uh, if you like this type of matchup, Superset Man. Hello, Superset Maniacs. He just, he's doing a new series and it's the best versions for uh, a lot of these guys. And he just did my request. I requested... Uh, Branch Warren versus Ruley the Beast Winkler. So go check that out. But back to this one. Huh. Not a good shot for either guy. But you know what? Here's the finals for uh, Ruley Winkler. And we're having a little fun here, guys. This is, I think, 2000 or 99. I think 2000. No, 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 no. It's 99 for Marcus Rule. And both guys look tremendous here. Look at this. Uh -huh. It's my Marge Simpson. Come on, homie. Off to bed and then some beer. Or no, beer, then bed. Woo, beer, beer, beer. Bed, bed, bed. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All foolishness aside, guys. Um, It's again. It's muscle. Lots of. Versus uh, aesthetically pleasing front lat spread. But, but this is not 2006 at all for uh, Marcus. Turn to the side. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like it's pretty close out of the first three shots. But they're 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 similar but different. You can see Roly from the side. This guy would have an edge in the wheels. Separation, even the size. Look at the hanging hamstring. Of course, Marcus, he has some friggin' huge legs, two guys. Calves. Look at his calves. Now the upper body could be a toss-up. Uh, Ruli, Rule, Ruli, <laughs> tongue twister and a half. Yeah, uh, Ruli, his arms are tremendous from the side. Look at that. I mean, from the front double, you could see the biceps of Marcus Rule much more prominently. But look at the delts here. Look at the delts. When you look at the big man's manly chest of Marcus Rule, he has the biggest manliest chest that I've ever seen. Maybe Art Atwood, he had a big man's manly too. But, yeah, I would wager to say pretty close from the side. Now, the side tricep, this is a hoo-ha. You know it's a hoo-ha. Don't pretend. Even in public, some of you guys want to say that. Oh, that's a hoo-ha pose. But just don't. Just don't, because you're embarrassed. 
Just say it. Just say it. Life's too short to be embarrassed. But yeah, the midsection, I think the side tricep is a strong position for Ruli the Beast Winkler, whereas Marcus Rul may be slightly exposing to the midsection. I mean, you're as big as a house, guys. Your midsection has to be big. It has to be. Got to be pushing forkful of food. Imagine how many forkfuls of food this guy put into his lips. Could you imagine? For all of these guys. <laughs> foolishness, foolishness. Go to the back. And the unfortunate truth, if you guys can handle the truth, I don't think you can handle the truth. Can you handle the truth? You can't handle the truth. Who said that? Who said that? I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Marcus Rule and Ruley the Beast Winkler, the truth of the matter is they were never really Olympia winning, peeled, ripped to shreds, Mansoon, Mooney. They were never really that peeled. It was more the glutes. The hamstrings actually look pretty good for Marcus Rule, I have to say. But when you compare the overall condition of Ruley the Beast Winkler, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. Now, I would give it to Rule, no matter what, because he has calves. Well, that's not the only reason. He has a nice little Christmas trees, baby, please. Thicker Latin insertions, even though the Beast, he is drawn out very nice in this shot. Now, here's the finals for uh, Ruley. Same picture, obviously, for Marcus Rule. I should have just told you that it was different. But you guys are smarter than that. It's a very close competition between these guys. And I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm going to lean. Here's the rear double. And again, again, not the most peeled. Peeled? That's Kermit the Frog. Hi, guys. Mrs. Piggy. Oh, shut up, Kermit. I think that was the same voice. It was weird. It was weird. But, yeah, I think you guys know. I mean, when you're looking at the calves. <laughs> Come on. Marcus Rule had awesome calves. Not a bad back, I have to say. Now here's the finals. And yes, of course, guys, of course. Ruli the Beast Winkler, he is winning on condition. Glutes, much tighter. Hamstrings, Marcus is impressing me on his hamstrings. The back, lower back, nice and tight as a drum for uh, the Beast. But Marcus Rule, he is so gosh darn big. He's almost six feet tall. I think 300 pound. Him and uh, Gunther Schlierkamp. They're both like 300 pounds, guys. Just as big as uh, Ronnie King Coleman. But here's the abs and thigh. Obviously the King Coleman. For you Colemanites just waiting. How dare he say that? Coleman was the best, guys. He was the king. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. And the abs and thigh... There's a lot of shots where I do give it to Marcus just because of the overwhelming mass muscle. But the abs and thigh is not one of them because the beast, Ruli, the beast winkler, Ruli rule, that's funny. He looks awesome. This is one of your best abs and thighs of all time. And I'm not speaking loose. Isn't that funny? Guy named Beast has one of the best abs and thighs. Well, so, so I say. And the most muscular, hmm. Marcus looks a little soft in the legs in this shot. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah, see? Here's the uh, crab position, see? And there is a definite edge. The chest. Look at the chest. Marcus has some of the biggest pecs, delts. I'm sure some of you guys are going to say, this is an oilies, baby please matchup. And again, I have to point to condition of the wheels. Neither of these guys are tremendously ripped. And usually, Ruley, you know, he wins on sheer mass. And Marcus Rule, he's not going to play that game with Marcus Rule. Marcus was revolutionary. For his time, he was probably robbed. But you look at the lineups at the time, and, I mean, you had some pretty good, uh, the, the X-Man, Tony Freeman, he was there, and he was huge. He was like another 300-pounder. Another 300-pound, just raw meat. So who wins the matchup? I hate to break it to you guys, but Marcus Rule is getting an edge because he is just too big. The beast, he's a beast. But Marcus, he's a, a row beast, for goodness sakes. Let me know in the comment section below. And I don't want to hear no foolishness of 
Mark's Max Muscle should have used Oto. It is his best version by far. This was f- stupid. But anyway, anyway, anyway. We don't need to use foolishness like that. This is a good matchup, guys. Get it up to 400 likes. Remember, 400. Easily done. Easily done. High threes, I'll do it. High threes. (laughs) Have a great one.